It has been a while. It has been a while. I actually can't remember the last time I uploaded a video. Where have I been? I tried to vlog earlier this week. I actually went to London. I had a full uh like three four days there i really need to rub it in that dry shampoo okay but yeah i had a full four days in london at like meetings had loads of evening events scheduled and i was feeling really really sad and trying to put on a brave face and vlog and it just kind of fell apart uh i think on day two maybe day one i'm not really sure i'm not sure how far we got i'll insert some of it here though <laughs> situation it's very nice look at that it is so pretty up here but let's go back inside because i'm not wearing a jacket so very excited to be staying here for the week until thursday I, i've just realized i'm vlogging with my hair in a bum which i never do i'm a real little egghead today but um i forgot how much having a bun gives you like a mini facelift i didn't ask for it I didn't know I needed it, but I feel great. My eyeliner feels like very, very good because of it, because it's just like pulled here up a little bit. It's very nice. However, these little bits of hair at the back are really doing me dirty right now. So let's just overlook the state of me because it's been a long day. It's been a long journey up here. I've been packing since very early this morning. I've been up since I didn't actually need to get up at six in the morning, but the clocks have changed. My radio alarm clock did not get the memo though. So I've been up for a very long time. But yeah, anyway, I'm here in London. I have evening events all throughout the week. And I've also got like little bits here and there during the days that I've now booked in as well. There was just so much going on. That I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna stay up here and then avoid back and forth thing. Cause I hate that. Commuting in London is bad. Commuting to outside of London, sometimes even worse. The last time I was here, I think it took me like three, four hours to get home. So what is going on today? I think I needed a new vlogging camera. It might be time guys, this is very sad. Never mind, I just realized the camera had set itself to manual focus. But today's travel outfit was very minimal. I just threw a coat on over my Zara little crop top. I've got my H&M leggings on and then my Fendi boots, but I threw my coat on over the top of this, my All Saints black one. This was the look, so comfy, but looked like I was fully dressed for the day, which was fab. I've decided this is gonna be my coat of the trip. It's my All Saints one from 2019. Yeah, that was this afternoon's little look for traveling up here and now I need to get changed. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna wear this evening, but I've got everything out already and packed behind me. Do you know what? I used to be one of those people that would actually say like, why bother unpacking when you're only away for a few nights? And look at me now. She is unpacked. But yeah, this is what I brought with me. I just need to decide what I'm gonna wear. I think, Tonight is kind of smart casual. It's a little drinks event. So I'm thinking I'm gonna wear my leopard print skirt. I've got my khaki Zara boots and maybe like a black body to go with this and then the coat that I am wearing right now. We are pretty much ready. I'm gonna show you my outfit down here, the lighting here is not always the best. I've got a body on, which is from Zara. I've got my Zara leopard print skirt on, my Zara boots, and then my All Saints coat. I'm actually very nervous. I've kind of, it's dawned on me. I'm sure I've been to things. I must have been to something, but I think this might be my actual proper first event back since like 2019. And I am a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. It's weird when you know you're still going to be with people that are like your safe people who you don't normally feel nervous around, but I still feel nervous anyway. I've also just realized that I managed to get a little dry shampoo fingerprint on me. That is not good. Why did these things happen to me? I'm just gonna crack on, head out, breathe. Oh, I forgot to say, my lip combo is Vive Brat lip liner and then Anastasia Beverly Hills Naked liquid lip and the rest of my face is just my usual YSL Touche Eclat foundation, MAC eyeliner, Bobbi Brown, taupe eyeshadow, Anastasia Beverly Hills brows and I think that's pretty much it. 
oh fenty concealer very very easy very simple oh and my <laughs> it keeps going my mascara is always glossier lash lick which i love it gives me like the most fluttery little lashes but yeah i'm actually going now bye didn't get the chance to chat to you that much last night the event was rammed i have not seen that many people in a long time it was very very overwhelming <laughs> after that i came back here had something to eat i was so tired i was very very anxious so my whole body had like almost seized up so i felt like i'd done like a full pt session so i just came back here ate some food got into bed and that was literally my evening but it's a lovely day this morning I have been so lucky with the weather whenever I've come to London. It is gorgeous today. It's probably gonna be chilly, but I don't mind. I don't mind. So we're gonna head out, have a coffee. I'm gonna walk to my meeting this morning because I have a little bit of time. And I just love wandering around London when the weather is actually good. And this is the perfect time of year for it. Let's go to the mirror with the awful lighting. I am wearing my All Saints coat. I've got the same little crop top on that I had on yesterday from Zara. I actually have Topshop premium mom jeans on today they sit a little bit lower at the moment they're a little bit big but i really like the fit and the feel of these they're actually a very light thin jean and because of that i find them very comfy so yeah i just love these i've loved these since i first got them i think i've had them for a couple of years now i don't know if they still do them if they don't do them anymore i would be really sad so yeah all saints coat converse i almost forgot what they were called Louis Vuitton bag this is the only bag that i brought up with me for this trip and that is that is it you can't really see it very well but yeah just a really simple borderline boring outfit but i just really wanted to be comfy today oh i'm also wearing my fendi earrings and then for my makeup i have a different lip color on today which is so rare but i actually have the kylie lip kit on in let me tell you the shade it makes me so happy the shade is called sweater weather i love that i actually i die i actually need to put this in my bag there's a matching lip liner as well i think it's this one yeah they're very matchy matchy these kits which i actually thought that they wouldn't be i thought the lip liners would maybe be like slightly browner or ever so slightly darker but they actually match very well which some people will love for me i actually prefer like a different tone but i'll take it i have so many lip liners i really can't complain there's a color that i want to wear later oh, let me show you so so cute it's called bite me I really like it. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing at the moment. I need to remember to put this in my bag. And yeah, let's leave because my headache is getting worse and I need some paracetamol and a coffee. So even though I wasn't feeling too great to begin with, it actually ended up being really fun. In the end, I just decided to vlog a little bit less. It's probably just me being really hard on myself and it would have been fine. Anyway, we are back today. It's Saturday. I am so excited to spend the weekend with you. I am feeling like all the cozy vibes this weekend. I actually did a little bit of shopping. Some of you, if you follow me on Instagram, might have seen whilst I was in London and I'm gonna take you through all of that. And then yesterday I actually went to get my nails done. I forgot to get the color. I actually have the color of my last nail set, which was Merlot, I took a photo, I'll insert it. But yeah, I completely forgot to get the color for this set. But yeah, all my own nails, but just a really lovely kind of like deep red gel color. It comes off a lot pinkier and brighter on camera right now, but um, it's like a really lovely deep red. This is so hard to do without my glasses on. I'm like looking at the mirror that's really far away. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Honestly, oh well, it doesn't really matter. I'm literally just adding a little wave to my hair today because I couldn't figure out if I wanted it straight and I didn't want it curly. So this is what we're doing. It's like day 521 of like heat styling my hair. So tomorrow I might have to have a makeup free and like a crap hair day because I just need some like 
break time from makeup. But yeah, that is about it with me at the moment. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I have to say one thing I am really struggling with at the moment is how dark it's suddenly getting, like since we made the clocks go back. It makes me so sad. And also I just can't get as much done in one day as I always can through like spring, late spring, summer and like early autumn. I always really appreciate the super productive vibes that I managed to have through that time period. It is just not it when you only have so many working hours in a day to be able to like photograph and do things that are like need to look cute on camera you know oh but to continue my story which i think i forgot to finish i went and had my nails done yesterday and i also did a little shop as well so i've got a couple of bits that i picked up to show you i went into sarah home didn't quite bankrupt myself so very proud because that's always a bit of a dangerous uh shop for me to go into do we think this is cute this is cute i can I don't even know. <laughs> it's fine. It will probably look cute for a few hours this afternoon and then I will wake up looking like Hermione Granger tomorrow. My hair's always just a little bit fluffier in the morning. And this is it, like, this is good because I actually invested in a silk pillowcase a while back. The best thing you can do if your hair frizzes out and it's like nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Still not amazing, you know? So I will look crazy tomorrow but it's fine yeah other than that this morning has been very uneventful it's basically been a mixture of me trying to clean an oven pan and they say my life looks really glamorous <laughs> that i'm working on a little music project with ryan and drinking a lot of coffee that has been my morning so far perfume of the day i'm really running out of space i think i'm gonna go with my Estee Lauder one. This is Infinite Sky. Such a pretty bottle. They're a previous partner, but not a current partner, but I just love this fragrance so much. This is today's look. I've got my Zara black silky shirt on, H&M leggings, white company little furry sliders, and then Monica Vinader jewellery. I think my discount code might still be live if you want to try and use it. I will try and put it in the info box. Carrie Elizabeth little necklace from Ryan. My lip product today is Anastasia Beverly Hills Naked with Jamie's V Muse Brat Lip Liner to give it a bit more of a pink tone around the edge. I've actually done a highlight now on my Instagram of my lip combos. If you want to go and check that out, it has all the details in there. I'm really enjoying today's hair. I actually just put some of the, let me find it, Mistress Anti-Frizz Leave-In Conditioner. I think this has been renamed the Hydrating Balm from IGK over the ends just to stop them frizzing and then to give the waves a bit more shine. I went over with the IGK Expensive Alma Oil little hair balm. That one gives it a lot more shine so I put it over the top and just kind of the outer parts of my hair just so that when it catches the light, it does have a bit of a shine. My hair doesn't really shine very well, so it's a real key product in my hair care routine. Princess Nala is in her usual spot. How are you today? How are you? Do you want to show everyone your new collar? It says shrimpy. How cute is that? Well done. Thank you. Really appreciate that. It's almost the season where Nala starts wearing her jumpers, and I cannot wait. You are going to be the cutest Lil pooch ever. Yeah, I also got one that says Nala on as well. Bit of a backstory to ooh, got a bit of hair there. to these collars. I actually met a girl in Zara who had a tiny baby chihuahua with her at the till, and it had one of these around its neck, and it said Paris. And I was like, "You are just my absolute goals. I don't know you, but I want to be your best friend and your dog's best friend." And I searched for these on Etsy, found them really easily. The lady that makes them is called Pauline. Love her. She's so sweet. That's why. I decided to get one of these because I met a girl in Zara. I always meet people in Zara or when I'm getting my nails done and I end up making friends. You know what? It is feeling so dark already. The weather's really miserable today. It literally feels like nighttime already. So I think what I'm gonna do, have a new candle. So I feel like I'm just gonna make the house super cozy. I actually have this new candle I wanted to show you. It is just the cutest, is it not? It's so, so ridiculously expensive. I know that teak candles just are, but I die for them. It's so gorgeous, also smells so good literally like turkish delights like a real juicy rose smell yeah it's a three wick so nice so so nice so i'm gonna like that what is this do you want me to throw it give it that go go on come on she loves playing fetch at the moment i think she's finally after like seven years on the planet got the hang of it bring it 
Come on. Good girl. Except she doesn't understand the word fetch. She only understands the word bring it. And we'll be here all afternoon, if anyone's wondering. Right, this is just such a vibe. I'm thinking, keep this one in here. My white company Seychelles one, maybe in the living room. I normally have it on the island, but today maybe in the living room. And then I actually have a new candle to show you. This is so exciting. So lots of you will know, I'm a very big All Saints fan and they have finally, finally released their candles. The one I have here is Metal Wave, but you can be sure I am ordering the full set. Out of all of them, I think Incense City is my favorite. It's like such a lovely kind of like dark, incense obviously by the name, incense like oody, wood burny kind of smell. It's really gorgeous, really smoky, and that translates really, really well in candle form. So if you're gonna buy any of them, I would 100% recommend buying that one. But they gave me Metal Wave. I went to a launch of these candles and the new fragrance when I was in London this week, and this was the one that they very kindly gifted me. It is beautiful. I love Metal Wave. I love it as a winter fragrance. So very nice that I got given it the candle version and it smells gorgeous. They said, if you really wanna focus and have like a certain candle for your office, this would be the one. But apparently it's a fragrance that really helps to focus you. I thought that was really interesting. Really vanilla -y, very sweet, a little bit musky. I, I'm just obsessed. I'm gonna have to light this one this afternoon as well. And then they also have the fragrance, which is Concrete Rain. This one is very fresh, has like almost like a hint of basil to it. I think if you like Jo Malone, Lime, Basil and Mandarin, this one could be a really nice option for you. It's very sweet, but it has that kind of like basiliness to it, that almost like grass-like scent. Really beautiful, very fresh, very, very excited to get wearing that one. But anyway, those are new bits from All Saints. I got really distracted talking about candles and segued onto that. But I actually wanted to show you what I picked up from Zara, Zara Home, Selfridges, and is that it? Oh, I have a My Teresa order to share with you as well. So first I wanted to show you the shoes that I got whilst I was in London. I actually don't think, I think I'd stopped blogging by the point that I went shoe shopping, very sadly. But um, I documented it on Instagram stories. You guys will probably have seen it if you follow me on that. But I picked up these shoes. I actually haven't bought a pair of new heels in a very, very long time. So these are from a brand called Mac and Mac. I think that's how you say it. Like real life. Cinderella shoes. I was trying these on in pink with a, it didn't have like a back or anything like that. But I really loved the ankle tie. So, so stunning. I'm aware they are a really out there shoe. They're very, very in your face, but I just love them so much. I don't really have a heel like this. I've been on the lookout for like a sparkly heel for a really long time and not really found anything that I like. These are like one of those forever shoes where even when I'm like old and I really can't do a heel anymore, I will probably have them on display because they are just so stunning, providing I don't run them into the ground first, of course, but I absolutely love them. They're a real treat to myself, but something that I know I will get so much wear out of over the festive period. And following on from that, I wanted to show you the dress that I wore the shoes with. I have a photo of me wearing this outfit, so I will pop it on screen. But I'm so happy. So many of you loved this dress on Instagram. So many of you already own it. I can't tell you when I left my hotel, how many people stopped me, asked about this dress, said, oh my God, that's the Zara dress. I love this dress. I have this dress. Honestly, this dress, I've never had a dress that feels so simple, really, but provokes such a reaction in people. Like so many people really, really loved it and it is so cute. The only thing I would say is I could have gone down a size. I could have gone for an extra small. I just got this in a small because it does uh, gape at the back a little bit on me just because there is a little bit more room. But I actually wasn't wearing a bra with this on the night that I wore this. So actually I think if I wore a strapless bra with this, actually I wouldn't even need to wear a strapless to be honest. But if I wore a bra with this, I think it would fill it out a little bit better. And I just didn't want it to be like super, tight. I was feeling very bloaty this week and tight and super fitted was not on the agenda which is why I loved that dress because it had almost like an A-line kind of cut to the skirt. But it worked so beautifully with the shoes. I love them so much. So here we have the dress and the shoes. I just think they complement each other so beautifully. The shoes I've had a lot of questions on. The main one being are they comfortable which I just don't ever associate heels with being like when we talk about comfortable, how comfortable are you talking? It's a very subjective word. Like, are we talking trainer comfortable or are we talking like, I can wear them without screaming? So to answer, I can wear them without screaming. They're not like awful, but they are a clear perspex over the toe. It's not like you're wearing like a leather 
strap across the top of your foot which can sometimes be more comfortable as long as it's not too tight perspex is a little bit more tough so i wouldn't recommend them for like hours and hours and hours of wear i wouldn't wear these for example as a wedding shoe if i were a bride and i was going to have to be in them for a long time like a full whole day like a 12 hour shebang if you're getting married at like 12 let's say for example i wouldn't wear these my feet would probably be like swelling and just not loving life by the end of it but for an evening event i love them and i will get so much wear out of them so i hope that helps if you were wondering like the level of comfort and i absolutely love the dress and yeah that is pretty much all i have to say oh but the other thing is i am wearing a bra with the dress this time you can kind of see it a little bit here this isn't the best bra to be wearing with it actually but i do still have a little bit of gaping at the back it hasn't really filled the dress enough so i would say size down in this one if you are unsure like it fits really really comfortably everywhere it's got like room to eat it's nice and like stretchy as well so like i could fully eat in this and there still be like room and like the skirt has a lot of room in it still so i could definitely have gone for an extra small in this and had it fit a bit better across the chest and the like strap area in the back i also had a couple of other dresses as backups from zara in case anything didn't fit i had this play suit which is so gorgeous i will very quickly cut to a try on of this because it is very hard to show i got it in a size small and it was 49.99 so i'll show you what that looks like on now oh my gosh this dress is so fun well it's play suit i really like it i love the way it fits like it is perfect on the waist and then just like the skirt length is really good really really good i'm so happy with this i think this outfit could look really cute with a pair of pattern tights i think it's such a nice one if you do have like a day thing that is formal but you want to make it work for night or just like a really chic kind of like day look you could wear a slightly higher boot with this as well and either tights or bare legs i think that could look really cute i'm really enjoying dresses at the moment that maybe have like a little bit of shoulder detail i love the ruched shoulder on this it's kind of baggier on the top half and then a little bit more either fitted or like cinched in around the waist my birthday dress was very similar to this and my all saints dress that i wore this week which you won't have seen in this vlog because i'd given up vlogging by this point it was in the last vlog if you want to watch that i will link it at the top of the screen it has a very similar fit obviously just in a much jazzier print i think the style really suits me like long sleeve a little bit baggy here a little bit more fitted around the bottom half yeah really love it really really love it also have this dress which i picked up i just knew that this would be okay this kind of cut it's like a deep v it actually has a little clasp here so you can have it as like a very very low cut which i probably would to be honest or you can have it done up a little bit higher so you don't have any like cleavage on show which i think is great and then it just goes into kind of like a ruched bottom that is a little bit more fitted i don't know whether to keep or return them so if you could let me know what you think i'll obviously show you that one now so this dress is also very cute i really liked it at first when i put it on but now that i'm looking at it i am not so sure i think there's a lot going on like here there's just a lot of material and i don't think it's really doing the most for the figure like what is what is that bit doing like this should be like super cinched in it is a zip up so you really have that ability so that then the skirt is kind of like really doing its thing because it's got ruching all up the side which is amazing and like does great things for your figure but they're not doing the most for the waist i think it's this like twisted knotted little situation that's going on it's not bringing you in as much as it could be next i'm just going to talk you through a little my Teresa order that i made i made this last weekend you know when you've had a glass of wine it's the weekend you're feeling good you just start online shopping and that kind of vibe i picked up these socks which i actually just thought would be really cute poking out of like winter boots like a plain pair of winter boots or out of my converse something like that they've got this like gold and silver little glitter fleck running through them as well which i think is really cute borderline festive but i just thought these were really nice and i'd probably just wear them around the house a lot like they would look so cute with this outfit right now i think i might actually have to uh have to put them on ryan is gonna laugh so hard at me when he comes home because i'll probably be wearing these and then my fluffy birkenstocks which he just thinks are hilarious anyway yeah love them love them they are actually really comfy and cozy they run a little bit big but that's fine with me and on the same vein some of you may have seen me talk about this purchase on instagram stories already i love a little kind of like patterned pair of tights 
So I picked up these Fendi ones. Lots of you voted on my poll on Insta stories and voted that I would probably regret this purchase. But we will see. So that was everything I bought in London. And then I also went into town yesterday and just picked up a few little bits. First up, H&M. Got some socks. Really love these socks. They're like a ribbed texture. I just love socks. I really love socks at the moment. I don't know what it is. I've never really been a sock person. I really like wearing longer socks when I'm wearing my Converse because they go up a little bit higher on the ankle and then having the sock kind of poking out on top of that. I think it's very cute. And then I also went to Zara home. One of you was kind enough to tell me that they have brought back the salted caramel diffusers. The salted caramel diffuser was my absolute favorite a couple of Christmases ago, and they have brought it back. They have a little mini size if you wanted to just kind of try it out, but they actually have them out in stores if you have a store near you, so you can go and actually smell it. But if you wanted to buy one for someone as a little gift, they do do a smaller version, which I thought was really cute. I've got to tell you though, I am livid because they do a gingerbread version of this, and they do a car air freshener in that smell. They don't do that for this one, as far as I can tell. I need to check the website, actually. This is when hundreds of you tell me that it's on the website, which tends to happen a lot. So excited about that. So excited that I've bought it twice. And then, I'm really excited about this. I also picked up this little fluffy cushion. I actually have a long pillow that I've been looking for a pillowcase for, which is also from Zara, so I'm hoping it's the same size. I actually saw them style this on the chair that I already own from Zara in the store, and it looked really cute as well. Yeah, that was everything I picked up this week. Everything I bought this week. These fit. These fit. Yes, it's gonna fit. Very cute, I like that. Yeah. Okay, so my mum is coming over, which is great because, you know, love my mum, but it does mean you have to do that thing where you just rush around your house, you know, sorting things out. This I've just closed the door on because she doesn't need to see the wardrobe room. It's a state. And uh, I've had to do a little speed tidy in the kitchen. And we're all good, honestly. Please tell me that I'm not the only one that does this. Because you know, one of your parents, family member, whoever it is, is gonna come over and go, oh, you shouldn't have tidied for me. But you know, if you didn't tidy, you'd be sitting there like, hmm. haven't had wine in a really long time and I can feel that. I don't know why recently I haven't drunk at all and I woke up this morning and I just feel really horrendous. Well this is 30. So the original plan for today was actually to be makeup free and just chill and somehow I've ended up with like full glam on. I just thought oh, I'll put on some foundation because I went for a walk this morning and put SPF on and I thought well I might as well put some foundation on seeing as I've put SPF on and yeah yeah full glam but it is making me feel slightly better about the fact that I feel horrendous so at least I don't particularly look it but we have the turtleneck out which is just like my favorite thing for when I'm not feeling well I like wearing a turtleneck it makes me feel very like secure and I'm now about to make my little island workspace very very cozy settle down start editing this vlog i think i might have to have a hot chocolate you know something like that to really like pep me up editing is not my favorite task so i really need to bring some joy to that so all the candles all the hot chocolates all of the you know really nice things and classic me i am not even really editing i'm just going through all of the sections with nala in and screenshotting the funny faces she makes
So this is a Di Sirono hot chocolate with one of the Love Raw, like vegan Kinder Bueno bars tucked in. Oatly chocolate milk, just warmed up in the microwave and then vegan cream on top. It is incredible. It's that time of day, people. <laughs> just about to head out for the day I'm vlogging again but for a different vlog so I'm gonna end this video here but I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing everything that I bought over the last week I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you guys again very soon